wasn't bad as I remembered, but still not good. Um, characters are kind of bland, but not unfunny. Because there are a few funny jokes here and there that I actually laughed at. Like the one kid um, asked his friend um, if the punch was made by his mom. And then when he finds out he isn't, he tells him it's terrible. And then there's this scene where this guy tries to hype his friend up because he's feeling insecure. But he won't take the compliment. So he goes, you're right, she probably wasn't looking at you. Um, the little brother from the first movie, they were around the same age, but, um, I guess he time traveled and came back because he's fucking 17 in this movie. I don't get how that works. And his dad is way too pushy about him getting a job. And even though they focus a decent amount of the plot on it, not a lot, but a decent amount. It ends up going nowhere because we only see him work once. Then he tries to get out of work and, you know, now he's being chased by the shark or whatever. Um, most of the kills are kind of okay because it is a PG horror movie. But man, one of the first kills of the movie, I loved it. Um, this girl gets killed while she's on the... the boat thing I don't know what it's called but I'm sure you've seen it before where someone rides on the back of the boat via some floatable thing like uh water skiing I think is what it's called and that person gets killed friend realizes she's not there anymore goes back to check on her and the shark takes a bite of the boat she tries to fight it off with gasoline and the gasoline gets on her pants and she starts burning and then the fucking boat explodes it's such a shocking kill and makes you get more interested in the movie. But, unfortunately, the movie isn't the greatest. It's not bad, but not the greatest. Um, acting wasn't as bad as I remembered. They end up defeating the shark via um, him remembering something from the first movie. Because in the first movie, the captain guy was talking to him and told him about how Sometimes he was able to distract the sharks with noises, sometimes he wasn't. And in this movie, he makes noises to get the shark to come to him. And it bites a power line and dies, but it just looks extremely mechanical. I know it was mechanical in the first movie. I honestly didn't notice it most of the time. And I didn't notice it most of the time in this movie. But the way it dies it just makes it look like a robot which makes it kind of silly but it is a 70s movie so i'm not judging it too harshly um he saves the day or whatever the movie's over could care less don't know how it got four movies